Medical and nursing students along with staff at Northern Health are learning from a unique and state-of-the-art piece of equipment. The new program features lifelike dolls who are placed in very real scenarios. As Katherine Hansen tells us, the training center could one day help a caregiver save your life. And now to your health, brought to you by Evergreen Pharmacy and Heart Drug. Just like a patient, he can talk, cry, sweat, breathe, and even bleed. His name is Sin Man, and he's the latest in technology to help train medical educators and students. Since it opened a year ago, the Northern Health Clinical Simulation Center has been leading the way in training. The clinic is a partnership between Northern Health, the UBC Nursing School, and the Northern Medical Program, with four locations, including Terrace, Fort St. John, Quinnell, and the Prince George Center. It really gives people the experience of, you know, being able to do something on a regular basis, practice it, and then um, use video for debriefing it. So we go into a debriefing room afterwards and sit down and watch the video recording of it and talk about the processes and focus on the process instead of the people in a safe learning environment and give feedback. Scenarios are developed with the help of health educators. They are realistic training tools and can range from an anaphylactic shock to even the birth of a baby. The mannequins or human simulated patients are wireless and can cost anywhere from $6,000 to $85,000 and up, all depending on their capabilities. The use of new technologies is really what makes it unique, the high fidelity simulators and their um, technology advances have come a long way versus Resusi Annie and things that they used for CPR in the past. Behind the one-way mirror, clinicians operate the computer behind the human patient mannequin. The simulators can respond exactly as a patient would based on what takes place during the training seminar and the patients can even interact with the caregivers. One of the really great features around our high fidelity simulators is the ability to talk to the simulator and have the simulator talk back to you so you can actually interact with your patient. So when you come into the room and you're doing something even as simple as a head to toe saying, you know, do you know where you are, assessing them to see, you know, they're aware of their environment. It has given us the opportunity to not only practice uh, technical skills um, on the different dolls, but it also helps us to develop um, non-technical skills, which would be communication, teamwork, um, just in a team environment. So it's really been quite, um, quite effective. With a startup of $2.4 million last year, the Clinical Simulation Centre is hitting its stride, training healthcare providers each day. It's hoped it will hone the skills of those who save lives on a daily basis. To your health, Katherine Hansen, CKPG News.